Hello, welcome to RV News Podcast Daily. Following are the headlines. Prime Minister Nguyen Tong Zong receives newly accredited ambassadors from Iran and Mozambique. ASEAN highlights leadership role of chief information officers. Hanoi's consumer price index drops by 0.29% in July. President Ching Ten Sang attended a ceremony to mark the 50 years of People's Police Day in Hanoi on July 20th. He praised the achievement they have made over the past time. Sang underlined that the party, state, and people always acknowledge the sacrifices, feat of arms, and achievements to the nation's revolution that the police has made over the years. The police should bring into full play the key role they play, along with the people, in combating crime, safeguarding national security, and maintaining social order. The police must strengthen its relationship with the people and find negative and authoritarian phenomena in their work. The president said he believes that upholding their glorious tradition, the people's police will fulfill their tasks and help the country to reach its industrialization and modernization goals. On behalf of the party and state, President Sam presented the Ho Chi Minh Order to the General Police Department for Crime Prevention and the General Police Department for Managing Social Order and Safety. Prime Minister Nguyen Tân Dũng received newly accredited ambassadors from Iran and Mozambique in Hanoi on July 19. Welcoming Iranian Ambassador Hossein An Bandi Behin, Prime Minister Zoom said Vietnam attaches importance to increasing cooperation with Iran. He said he hopes that the new ambassador will work closely with relevant agencies and ministries of the two countries to implement cooperation agreements reached between them as well as start new cooperative programs. The Vietnamese government will create favorable conditions for the diplomat to fulfill his tasks during his tenure in Vietnam. Ambassador Hossein An Vandi Behin said Iran wishes to further enhance multifaceted cooperation with Vietnam and affirmed that he will do his utmost to promote Vietnamese-Iranian cooperation, especially in economics, trade, finance and banking. Receiving Mozambican Ambassador Gamilien Mungombe, Zoom said he believes that the diplomat will make active contributions to further fostering the multifaceted cooperation between the two countries. Apart from accelerating economic and trade cooperation, Vietnam is willing to cooperate with Mozambique in the fields that the country is strong in upon Mozambique's request, he said. Zoom said Vietnam wants Mozambique to support its businesses while investing in agriculture, agriculture and telecommunications in the African country. He added he hoped the two countries will strengthen cooperation in culture, education, science, technology, security and defense. Mungu Ambe said Mozambique wants to intensify cooperation in agriculture, agriculture, education and health care with Vietnam. National Assembly Chairman Nguyen Sinh Hung has affirmed Vietnam always welcomes foreign businesses to invest in the country in all sectors while creating very favorable conditions for them. Hung made the remark while meeting the visiting chairman of the Republic of Korea's Kumho Asiana Group, Park Sam Ku, on July 19th in Hanoi. Hung spoke highly of the results produced by Kumho Asiana funded projects in Vietnam emphasizing that the expansion of such projects vividly reflects the practical effectiveness and increasing strength of the Vietnam Republic of Korea strategic partnership. He also said he hopes the group will continue its effective investment projects in Vietnam. Park replied by saying that Vietnam is a promising market and committed to further investment in the country. He said he hopes Vietnam will perfect its policies to provide an attractive business environment for investors. In future, Kumho Asiana will strengthen cooperation and expand its business in Vietnam, he said. The group will boost the effectiveness of the operation of its cultural foundation in order to strengthen cultural exchanges and mutual understanding, as well as cooperation between both countries. 
the National Council for Sustainable Development and Improving Competitiveness convened its first meeting in Hanoi on July 19. The 41-member council was set up under the Prime Minister's decision dated May 31st this year to advise the government on policies, programs and measures that promote sustainable development and improve competitiveness. At the meeting, a representative from the Ministry of Planning and Investment gave a rundown of Vietnam's performance when trying to achieve its sustainable development goals over the past two decades. The ministry reported that the UN Conference on Sustainable Development that took place in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, last month, many overseas partners have committed themselves to continue supporting Vietnam in implementing its strategy for green growth and sustainable development. The support will be provided in suitable models of cooperation, such as official development assistance and public-private partnerships. The Council will hold the second meeting in October. A broad range of issues, including Vietnamese women who marry foreign nationals and women and children trafficking, topped the agenda of a seminar in the Mekong Delta province of Vinh Long on July 19. According to the Ministry of Justice, by 2010, 249,280 Vietnamese citizens got married to foreigners or overseas Vietnamese across the world, 80% of them women. Women and children trafficking is also a major concern for the whole of society, as it is extremely detrimental to both women and children. At the seminar, which was organised by the National Assembly's Committee for Social Affairs, Several delegates reported on the situation in their own localities. They discussed ways of protecting women and children who are in danger of becoming victims of illegal marriages and cross-border trafficking. To add emphasis to the occasion, several of the National Assembly's female deputies put forward their suggestions for amending and supplementing the law issued in 2000 that governs marriage and the family. The leadership role of Chief Information Officers in Southeast Asia was highlighted at the 8 CIO Summit and Awards in Hanoi on July 19. The event, themed Build versus Buy as Scalability versus Capability, was co-organized by the International Data Group, the Ministry of Information and Communications, the Ministry of Home Affairs and the Vietnam Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Participants at the summit held in-depth discussions to share practical experience from information technology projects and make analysis of the impact of technological development on companies' products and services, especially in the banking and finance industry. They emphasized the effective use of new technologies to improve the quality of products and services, especially in the banking and finance sectors. An awards ceremony also took place the same day to honor outstanding CIOs from around Southeast Asia. The awards judging panel featured respected IT professionals and representatives from various government authorities. The evaluation criteria took into account a CIO's competencies, strategic vision, organizational skills, leadership, innovation and creativity, as well as the outcomes of individual projects. Hanoi's consumer price index for July was 0.29% lower than that last month, but 4.64% higher when compared to the same period last year. This month has seen the sharpest decrease since the beginning of this year, announced Hanoi's statistics office on July 20th. Out of the 11 groups of commodities, only post and telecom services remain unchanged. The largest price rise during the month was seen in textiles, hats and footwear, recording 1.09%, followed by household goods and utensils at 0.81%. However, there were slight increases in other groups of commodities, ranging from 0.02% to 0.53%. Transportation services saw the biggest drop, 
witnessing a reduction of 2.9%, followed by housing, electricity, water, fuel and construction materials at 1.2%, and restaurants and catering services with 0.21%. Economic analysts attribute the contraction in transport prices to the two consecutive cuts in the price of diesel and petrol. Also at the start of this month, the price of gas dropped by 25,000 Vietnam Dong to 30,000 Vietnam Dong per 12 kilogram canister. The province of Guangnam and the Korean International Cooperation Agency inked a memorandum of understanding on July 19 to establish sisterhood relations between COICA funded primary schools in Guangnam and Seongnam City of the Republic of Korea. This is part of a COICA funded project to build 40 primary schools in Vietnam's central coastal region. Guangnam province alone has 10 schools that have been built since 2000. The Republic of Korea agency has provided these schools with infrastructure, new desks and chairs, and volunteer services. Koi Ka will continue its support to the Vietnamese locality. The school sisterhood relations are expected to raise mutual understanding about each country's culture and education. And that's the end of our V-News today. Thank you for joining us and goodbye.